much everywhere. Uh, how concerned are you about the nuclear industry and um, the proliferation of uh, munitions using depleted uranium, which I personally feel is a war crime, it's just totally inexcusable. Thanks. Well, I mean, I, I think that nuclear energy has for peace an absolute disaster. But as long as we are allowed to develop new technologies without looking from cradle to grave, as they say, from the time you dig the stuff up to the time you throw it back in, and work your way through that whole thing, it's just, it's crazy. I think Fukushima could very well be the death knell of the industry. Uh, because a lot of, I mean, if you look at what Germany did, they said they're going to get out of it altogether. And uh, they don't have anything like the alternative resources that Japan has. Japan has, I think, huge opportunities. But yeah, I mean, Japan is now the only country, I think, that is reprocessing uh, the spent fuel from these, and, uh, from these reactors and making plutonium, weapons-grade plutonium. France and, it, and Britain got out of that. So there's Japan stockpiling all of this plutonium. I think they call it box or something. They're trying to mix it in with regular fuel. But I mean, this is all weapons grade, weapons grade stuff. And where that goes, I have no idea. The um, former Canadian ambassador for disarmament, Doug Roach, said that every time new nuclear reactors anywhere in the world contribute to the risk of more nuclear weapons proliferation which is and should be a huge concern. The other point you made, I just want to commend you guys, very few people are paying any attention to the state of uranium use in weapons. It can be used routinely to coat bullets and shells because it slices through metal, it makes a bullet slice through a tank like, like it's a knife through butter. But in the wake of the first Gulf War and the conflicts of recent years, there's residual radiation that affects birth effects and health effects for generations going forward. And yet we get very little attention on the fact that DU is used routinely. So I really commit, I and mean, I'm just I'm really impressed that you've raised this issue because I hear it so rarely from people. So turning away from nuclear energy in the context of turning away from fossil fuels is really where the big opportunity lies. Because as long as you were being told you've got a choice between death by fossil fuels or death by nuclear, pick one, you really didn't feel like you had a lot of good alternatives. And now's the time to say, no, I really want to see us use more geothermal, more energy efficiency and conservation, which is our top order challenge, and lots more renewables, and the technologies that we can embrace, which are you know, just burbling at the surface, will be made possible when those other two, two options are no longer considered viable choices. So with that, I think we're going to be adjourning for